so sick. I've been blowing my nose so much. I got a big sore on the end of my nose. I've been doing a lot of traveling. I just went to Georgia, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more about. Last week, I'm working on this table. I forgot to mention it. It's gonna be a long-term project. I'm working on this incredible slab. This is 13-foot slab, five inches thick, redwood from Northern California. Nick Offerman gave me a lead to a place called Wyland Walnut in Chico, California. Working with a client in the Caribbean. We're gonna make this big table. I talked a little bit about it way back, and we have a design for the base, and I have to make some prosthetic versions of it because it's gonna be cast in steel. But before it's either cut or cast in steel, I'm gonna make some out of plywood just so the client can get an idea of the scale. Uh, Brett wanted to learn his chops in flattening, so Brett used this number seven jack plane and he flattened the table and he learned some pretty cool techniques and I didn't have to do it. So Brett, thank you very much. Focus is working pretty good. This next project I'm working on this week, we just started. This is going to be an enclosure for Taylor's workspace. Taylor's going to turn her corner of the workshop into a dust free zone. So that means we need to build two 24 foot walls. I do not want to attach anything to the floor. This isn't a space I own. I want to make it transformable in case we change the shop around. So I'm building these wall sections. This is going to be a sponsored video for DeWalt coming up, hopefully within short period of time because I got a tight deadline on this one. It's gonna show some modular concepts I came up with and we'll see where this one goes. It's a basically a shop build video. In CNC news, I made more boxes for the screws and I made a couple extra just to have around the shop. I got this concept for a screen, a folding screen, like a, a screen you would dress behind, I don't know. But this idea of the shapes holding the opposite side of the shape. Uh, maybe I was inspired somewhere along the way, maybe I saw it, maybe I'm copying it directly. I don't remember where I got the idea or how I got the idea, but I thought of it on my long drive to Georgia along with a couple of other ideas, which is why I like to drive. This idea of the shapes holding the other side. So this was just an experiment in MDF, which is a good experiment because I realized there's too much cleanup. I'm gonna have to use a dryer wood, something that'll chip away so there's not a tremendous amount of cleanup because when I make a six foot screen out of this concept, there's gonna be a lot to clean up. So that's gonna be an upcoming video of me making a folding screen to, I guess a dress screen or, I don't know what the hell it's called. In new tools, Tomok sent me their new automated bandsaw. Uh, it's a beta. I'm in the beta testing program and this is a new bandsaw that will auto feed and cut material so it's going to be good for Taylor's chairs for instance where we need to cut regular pieces over and over and over again so we're going to test that I'm going to be able to probably be running it by the next vlog so look forward to that thank you Tormak Then I drove down to Georgia and I went to Workbench Con. We've been talking about it for almost for like two years now. Workbench Con is coming up and it's come to pass and it was such a wonderful time. I had such a great, great time hanging out with and meeting and seeing and getting to mix with the people that support what we do and other people that do what I do and getting to put faces to the names of a lot of the people that I interact with on the internet. At one point I did a live build. It kind of went a little crazy, but I did show some cool techniques. So I don't know, somewhere on the internet that live build is recorded. This is the worst recording that I was able to do. It was a really genuinely wonderful weekend and there were so many people there and just to give a little shout out to everybody that was there. Thank uh you. -huh.
Hi, my name is Jimmy Garesta, and I make stuff. Who are you? Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I make stuff. It's Big Pal. Hi, my name is Bruce Ulrich, and I make stuff. Hi, my name is Nate Bachman, and I make stuff. Hi, my name is Rick, and I make stuff. Hi, I'm Eric, and I restore stuff. Hi, I'm Zach, and I eat stuff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark and I make stuff. Hi, my name's Nick Colotto and I make stuff. Hi, I'm John Malecki and I build custom furniture. I'm Ben Ueda and I design stuff. Hey. Yeah. I'm Brad Rodriguez, make this go back, and I build something awesome. Uh, hi, I'm Aaron Spain and I'm a DIY blogger at AaronSpain.com. Building guru, Justin, I built some shoes! <laughs> Uh, what? No. Take back the shit part. I built some stuff. Say who you are and what you do. Hey, I'm Sean Stone and I'm a ditch digger. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm Craig Coffee. Work with Lincoln Electric. I think you know that. What's this? Eric with uh, Procreation. Hey. All right, I did it. Uh, I'm Sarah from Ugly Duckling House. <laughs> I'm Paul from I Like to Make Stuff. <laughs> I, I'm Paul and I like and I like to lick pallets. <laughs> I'm Mike Montgomery from the Modern Maker Podcast. <laughs> I'm Uni Men and I design at Love Your Abode. Love Your Abode, I love that. Yeah. I'm Animal Trades and from AnimalTrades.com slash Animal Trades and here's my lover. Hi. April. I mean my love. My love. My love. I am April. I built stuff. Introduce yourself. Hi. I'm Zach Kaplan, the CEO of Inventables. We make robots. We make X-Carve and carving. 3D carving machines. I'm Caleb Harris from You Can Make This Too, and I make YouTube videos about how to make stuff not seem so crazy or complicated. I'm Jesse, and I'm more than Ben's little sister. Stop. My name's Michelle, and I make this stuff. My name's Travers, and I make toys. My name's Elliot, and I'm making it up. <laughs> My name is Crystal and I make machines. What's my, name, what you mean? my name is My name is Bob and I like to make stuff. <laughs> uh, YouTube goal. I'm Renee and I like to make all kinds of upholstered furniture from the ground up. I'm Doug at Doug Made. I like to turn wood. <laughs> my name is Josh and I like to make rusty furniture. Hey guys, I'm Johnny and I like to build furniture. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I like to design stuff. My, my name is Mike, I'm an industrial maker. I'm not very good at anything, but I do everything. <laughs> is this upside down? The other half of the podcast. Or third, sorry. Half. Yeah, the other third. Half. I know. <laughs> ben and Mike only equal one Chris. But my name's Chris. I have four eyes furniture, and I make modern furniture, and I make people laugh and cry. For skinny people. First, oh, I make furniture for skinny people. <laughs> that is very accurate. I think. I'm Kim, I make 50 DIY projects. It makes it all the way over here, and it's upside down. I got it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom from Infinite Craftsman, and I make a uh, RC lawnmower with power wheels. Hi, my name is JD. Uh, I'm with Apex Welding, and I do everything with metal. I'm a metal mercenary. I love it. Metal. <laughs> okay, um, my name is Blake, and I follow all these hooligans. Every single one of them here. <laughs> cool. Hi guys, we're Evan. I'm Caitlin. <laughs> and Jimmy. Sean McHenry, DIY at Custom Woodworks. Robert Hartman with Hartman Woodco, and here is Nick Key, Key Woodworks. I didn't know I knew you guys. Jenny Duke, Sacred Cinder. Megan Baker, Sweet Aloha Designs. Right now. Right now. Who am I? Mike Rapp, Mad Raven Woodworks. Chris Crawford, Mortgage and Miter. Jeremy Stevenson, Iconic CNC. KJ Sawdust, Keith Johnson, Custom Woodworking. Section Drew Oxford, Oxy Shop. The Oxy Shop. Who are you? <laughs> I forgot my name. <laughs> I do this so that I can go back and remember everybody's name. That's why I asked you to do this. What's your name? What do you make? Mikey the Maker. I'm trying to learn how to make. <laughs> I'm sure you're okay. <laughs> and a big thank you to Mikey the Maker who took me under his wing during the week and showed me around and made sure I was where I needed to be on time. So Mikey, thank you. And check out Mikey's new podcast. It's with none other than our old friend Kyle Stumpenhorst. Mikey the Maker and their partner who owns the company Shapeoko. So check out their podcast. Also at the event, we played the biggest game of rock, paper, and scissors. It was a lot of fun. It was very spontaneous. Zach, the owner of Inventables, came up with this concept where 
We play the big game of rock, paper, scissors till there's only two people left in the room and they played on stage. It was a real fun bonding experience for everybody in the room. Super fun time. The whole week was such a fun week. Sound of the wild. I got to meet Brian Fuller for the second time. Brian is a car fabricator, motorcycle builder. He's one of Lincoln's early sponsors. He is an amazing fabricator and a good guy. It's amazing to meet somebody as skilled as him. Rub off, some of that inspiration rub off onto me. He built this 1940s Ford into this cool low rider, show stopping, beautiful custom car. In my hunt for cool new tools, Taylor sent me on a sort of wild goose chase. I ended up in that little section where Georgia, North Carolina, and Tennessee all kind of converge right there to do an eBay pickup. Taylor bought a skiving machine, and once we have that set up, I'll demonstrate what a skiving machine does. But as soon as I got out of the car, I met the gentleman. He was a, he was a Yankee, self-described. I am a Yankee, and I had no idea who I was meeting down there, but. It's part of the fun of hunting for old tools is the people you meet that are selling them. They're other wackos just like me. This gentleman gave me this old band, so I started sitting there, I started asking questions, and he said, it's yours, take it, put it on the truck, do better with it than I have. And it was really sweet of him, his name was John, so John, thank you for that. And then we started talking old tools, and John started showing me his leather working tools and some of the projects he's made. It's just, it's, a, it's just a wonderful community of people that make things and it really was nice to meet him and just warm my heart after 20 miles with no cell phone service and no map and not knowing where I was going, if I was going in the right direction. I met this, this gentleman and we, we had hours to talk about, but we had to keep it fast and had to get back on the road. Some really great stuff in the mail this week, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I got this beautiful knife. Check out this knife. I got this cool check. This pencil sharpener. Check out how beautiful.
everybody, thank you so much for following along. This week, I have to drive to Cleveland with Brett and Laura Kampf. Next vlog should be a lot of fun. I'm going to meet a whole bunch of other makers in Cleveland. We're all going to this Lincoln event. And probably there's going to be some hangouts in and around Cleveland next week, starting March 5th. Some great stuff coming down the line. Building update, working on electric windows and everything else. Just trying to raise a little bit more funds. As soon as there's big changes, I'm going to show you those big changes. Check out Spike. Yeah.